Welcome. The Hall of Famer Muppet McGraw to Sports Center. Coach, thank you for joining us. And, and I got to say, you shocked everybody with this <laughs> announcement today. So please take us through it. Why are you retiring now? Well, to retire during a global pandemic, I thought would be a great way to get on Sports Center because yeah. there's not a whole <laughs> lot else it. going on. <laughs> you know, uh, I think I go into every season with the idea that, you know, I'm taking it one year at a time. I'm going to evaluate at the end of the year, see what I feel like and see where I want to go from here. And this year seemed like a good time. Our program is in great shape right now. Looking ahead, we've got a great recruiting class coming in. We're preseason back in the top 25. Everything is really looking good, and I think that it was a great time for me to hand over the reins for someone else. You, you know, you mentioned the global pandemic. I'm sure you would have loved to have broken the news to your players in person. That's obviously not yeah. possible. How did you speak to your ladies? That, that was the downside, honestly, and, and the reason that we waited even longer than I wanted to because we kept thinking maybe they'll come back and uh, school will be open again. Um, so we had a Zoom meeting, which is obviously not ideal, mm. um, but it was nice that we could make a transition in there and have them feeling a little less anxiety knowing what's in store for them down the road. What did they say? What was their reaction? Well, they, they, were, they were, of course, all on mute, so we were trying to read their body language, yeah. and uh, they, were, they were a little emotional, I think, um, kind of, they thought, a little bit of a roller coaster, like, you're kind of like, oh, darn, what are we going to do now? And then, oh, wow, look who we get. So I, I think it was the best of both worlds. You, you, you mentioned, I mean, we all know you and, and that steely face that's all, that you always express <laughs> on the sidelines there. Were you emotional in doing it? You know, it was it was hard, I think, talking to them. And I talked to my alums um, in a call at the same time uh, in another Zoom meeting with a bunch of our alums. And that was a little happier, I think, because, of course, they had already played. And so they weren't worried about me not coming back. But I think, you know, it's kind of the end of an era. And uh, a lot of people um, wondered about how that would end. And it was never a good time. You know, you'd never yeah. have a good time. So I picked this one. You mentioned handing over the reins in the L. Ivy, the immediately announced as, as your replacement. So I guess that's what you're referring to when you said the ladies said, OK, this is who we get. Long time <laughs> yeah. uh, player, assistant coach for you for sure, but a player back in the day as well. It's her first head coaching job, obviously at one of the top programs in the country. Why is she the right person to take over for the Hall of Famer Muffet McGraw? Well, it's funny. She's been getting calls for years from other schools wanting to lure her away to be their head coach. Uh, got the call to join the NBA this year, which was just a phenomenal experience for her. And she has been kind of the architect of our recruiting for so many years. She's been right beside me, just growing as a coach, um, loves professional development, loves to get out and talk to other coaches, always wants to learn. But what, what a great role model for these young women. And I think she's going to take over in fighting for women's rights and equality and giving us a, just a great leader that we can all look to. Hopefully a seamless transition with Neil coming in. Um, you and your players have provided several unforgettable moments through the years for all of us, well beyond the two national championships. Muffet, I know it's hard to encompass it all. Uh, 33 years at Notre Dame, 40 total almost, including your, your years at Lehigh. What are you the most proud of? You know, I think the women that I've coached, I think that when I look back, especially the 2018 National Championship, my favorite picture was all of the alums on stage, on center court, with the trophy, just, it, just taking it all in and knowing that whether you graduated from here in 1990, 2009, or 2018, you're a part of our program. And so it's that family and those relationships. They are the things that I will treasure. So, so that's the thing I'm wondering. I, I mean, you can't just walk away and, and leave South Bend, right? Will you continue to be involved there at Notre Dame? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to stay on. Jack Swarbrick has asked me to stay on and help him with some special projects, things I can do in the department. I'm, I'm really excited about that. Maybe teaching uh, at the university, I think that would be great. But definitely, you'll hear my voice actively in the community and across the country. And with the basketball program, I'm sure as well. Wait, you said teaching. Teaching what? I'd like to teach. Uh, we have a new major in sports management maybe some leadership classes, uh, something like that in the business school. That would be appropriate, for sure. Muffet McGraw, you have been an awesome representative of the game of basketball for almost four decades and, and making so many of us women out there proud with not just what you've done, <laughs> but with how you've done it. Congratulations on your decision, and we look forward to continuing to hear from you, Muffet. Thank you. Thanks, Sage. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.